Okay, so here we have it. Here's the A750 at 77 degrees. And the smart plug again started at 425 watts before mining. We're at 613. So maybe 180 delta, maybe 1520 idle. So 200 watt load, we'll say. And it's doing almost 31 mega hash. So it may not sound great, but really that's about what a 3060 does before an overclock. And there are no overclocking tools with the Intel Arc. So honestly, that's not terrible, terrible. The cooler is able to handle the heat of 200 watts. So anyway, there is the ETC hash rate. Um, like I said, if you know of any other miners that support this, let me know. I'll load them up and test them. But right now, that's what we're looking at. So kind of interpolate your memory performance based on that. But that kind of checks out with the memory bus width. Uh, I'm still really curious to try a core intensive algorithm, but so far I haven't been able to find any that actually work. All right, when you put in a bad tune, uh, just go to your admin folder and users on your drive and then type in uh, backslash app data and then local and then just delete the Intel folder, reboot and then relaunch the uh, Arc tuning utility and it will clear out your OCs, your defective OCs. Okay, 29.2, we're down to 145. So I'm actually gonna try going up a little bit on the performance boost. I don't think that's doing anything with the RAM though. I'm gonna slowly inch this up until it crashes. Then I'm going to slowly pull this back down. Our temps are much better though. Looks like we're sitting at 65 before this was sitting at 80 degrees. All right, so before I potentially crash it, we're at 60C, we're at 28.566 mega hash and 100 watts. And it actually does look like our power is pretty close. So that was stock mining 363. So we dropped 50 watts. Actually, maybe that wasn't even stock. Um, so 234 to 308. So that was system idle to mining. So really, if, we, if we're kind of like a 20 or 25 watt system overhead, I think this is pretty accurate to actual card total board power draw. So much closer to uh, NVIDIA than it is to AMD. Uh, this just appears to be an undervolt. Uh, if I crank it all the way up, it'll crash. And then power limit is exactly what it sounds like. Um, I haven't tried additional offset because I'm not looking for that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can maybe try going up a little bit more on the performance boost. I guess I will. But like I said, I just wanted to get a snapshot here uh, before it crashes. But so far we've cut half the power out of the card and lost about two mega hash. So it peaked at 30.8 at full power. So the card seems to massively prefer 105 watts as opposed to 100 or even 95. There were pretty big drop-offs there, uh, about one mega hash per five watts. So we're back up to 29.2 at 105. Um, I've got the performance boost undervolt set at 65. So honestly, that's pretty impressive. The temps are good. It's 60 degrees Celsius at 1244 RPM fan. I genuinely think that this thing with some memory overclocking um, assuming the RAM is decent, we should be able to get at least a plus 1000 mem OC, I would think. Um, still GDDR6, so judging by what we know of the NVIDIA cards and the AMD stuff, it seems like most of the time that's not too far off what we can expect to see. Um, although, actually, on, on AMD it's different because we're looking at 2150 maybe. So we might not have a ton of come up, but either way, I mean, this thing should be a strong 35, 36 mega hash, I think, at 105 watts. And if the memory is closer to how NVIDIA has it laid out, which I th it probably is, I mean, that's pretty slow. Um, this could be a 40 mega hash card at 105 watts, and this appears to be total board power. Again, it doesn't seem like it's lying like AMD is, but just ignoring the PCIe slot, so... That's all I can really do with the one miner and the basically one algorithm that's currently supported. Again, if you guys know of another algo or a miner that supports the Intel Arc A380 or the A700 series, let me know um, and I'll test it out. I'll be keeping the card for sure. But 
yeah, just wanted to give you a quick look and at least kind of a, a rough idea of what you could expect to see on a memory forward uh, algorithm. Thanks for watching.